This is N7JFP. Today we're going to be using our FT897 to see if we can find any JT9 stations. Here's a drawing I made of how the equipment is connected. First thing we want to do though is make sure our clock is running at dimension 4. And we got our 897 turned on and the signal link is turned on. So the next would be Ham Radio Deluxe. So that is running. We want to turn on the log book. The logbook is up and running. We got a uh, three tabs. One's the logbook. One's the reception PSK reporter. And one is QR. One is QRZ. So we're going to drag this off to another screen. So we have the Ham Radio Deluxe. We got the logbook. We're going to fire up the WSJTX. pull over here to get the frequencies. There we are. But we want to be on 20 meters. So it changed ham radio deluxe and the 897 switched over. I switch the antenna to dummy load. We can test here to make sure our push to talk is working. Okay, 897 is keyed, it works. Make sure we're on digital mode here. And ALC to monitor. We need to start up JT Alert. Testing your sound card. That seems to work. So everything is turned on. Let's try this. Hawaii. Okay, we sent out a our grid. CQ. He didn't hear CQ. Us. So we'll send it again. Oh, he heard us. We'll send back a report.
we just sent our report back of minus 13. This is AH6A in Hawaii. Okay, we're expecting a... Oops, he didn't get our signal. CQ. We'll send our report again. Okay, we just sent out our report of minus 13 again. There's a Roger, so we're going to send our 73. Seven twenty one kilometers. We would now expect a seventy three. There we go. Seventy three to Hawaii, Washington to Hawaii. That wraps up the QSO. So now we just make sure we log it up to EQSL and LOTW. Seventy three in seven JFP.